Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna hop on and do a quick unboxing of this purchase from Blue Nile. But before I get started, I do wanna say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I put out a fair number of videos about con contemporary designer handbags like Coach Michael Kors, Fossil, and Longchamp, as well as some luxury items like Gucci and Burberry. And if you end up liking this video, please do give me a thumbs up down below. So like I said, this is a purchase from Blue Nile. I just took out my receipt because my name is on it. So I purchased this item for $552. Uh, so with tax and everything, it was like five ninety. dollars um, And so, you know, you get all this packaging. Uh, for example, I got this ad for jewelry insurance, just a jewelry care guide, and then a little card from Blue Nile. Um, so this is not really that fancy like it's not a diamond ring or anything but basically I just wanted like a solid gold piece to wear um on my right hand and uh I thought you know I could have gotten something from like Majuri or one of those like more fashion um places but I thought that they sell pretty kind of lightweight pieces for pretty high prices like the amount of gold you're getting for the price just really isn't that high. So I thought I'd just go with kind of a classic item from a place like Blue Nile. So you can see the packaging here. You have um, a B and an N there on the sleeve for the box. Um, so pulling the box out, it does say Blue Nile. And opening it up, it is just a solid gold band. This is technically a wedding band. Um, it is 18 karat gold and it is a size 7 which fits perfectly on my right hand middle finger. Um, this is the Skyline Comfort Fit Band, I believe. So you can see it's um, got a little bit of that comfort fit on the, in the inside there, where like the inside is a bit curved, but the top of it is pretty flat. So it does just look kind of flat against my hand. Now you can see this bracelet, um, this is 22 karat gold. So compared to the 18 karat gold, it's quite a difference in terms of the color of the gold. My engagement ring is also 18 karat gold, so just kind of like looking at those colors of gold together. Um, I think the Blue Nile ring is roughly the same color. Obviously, my engagement ring is a lot less clean than this brand new ring, um, but the, uh, the colors are very similar, which is kind of, you know, good. So at least I know I got 18 karat gold instead of uh, 14 karat. And you can actually see the inscription on the inside, although it might be hard to show on camera where it does say 18 karat right there. Um, so that's good. I don't know what that like mark is there. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It's like a, maybe that's supposed to be a B and an N, but right now it just looks kind of like a smudge. Oh, I think it might be the B from Blue Nile, but it looks kind of strange. Um, so one thing I did want to do, it's so like I said, this is $552 and the current price of gold per gram is somewhere around 50 to $60. So I wanted to weigh this item because I did ask Blue Nile what the price, or sorry, what the weight of the ring was. And they basically were like, we don't tell you that, like we don't collect that. So I wanted to see um, how much gold I got for that money. So I brought my scale down and I think it is in grams. Just popping this on there. Hmm. It doesn't even register. That's how lightweight it is. Uh, that's no good. Well, I guess after all of that, um, that's kind of a dud because um, it's just too light to register on my scale, which I guess is not sensitive enough for something this lightweight. Um, I did measure, let's see, maybe I can do this. If I put this on here, switch back to kilograms, and then let's add this on top and see what happens. So that's two grams according to this difference, or maybe four grams, two to four grams. So I guess my scale is just not that great. Um, so ultimately this is still a fairly lightweight ring. So if I paid $552 and this is four grams, then that means I purchased it for more than uh, double the price of 24 karat gold per gram. Uh, and then this is of course 18 karat gold. So that's, um, you know, quite a bit of a markup. But uh, it is a nice ring. Uh, it's fairly comfortable. So I think I will wear it a lot. So it's probably worth it. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Let me in the comments below if you have any questions. Um, but otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye.